let's make it rain. Firstly, on this traditional asphalt road. Notice how the water must run along the impervious road surface towards the gutter and eventually down a storm drain to reach the underground storage pipe. Now let's simulate rain on this newly redeveloped section of road in Calgary's Marta Loop neighborhood. Notice a difference? With the porous pavers there, we actually have a, an increased uh, capacity for stormwater uh, runoff. The difference is porous pavers. These pervious interlocking blocks are being used to pave a section of road prone to flooding that's also being earmarked for hosting events like festivals. The idea is to reduce runoff by allowing rain to slowly percolate down to a stone reservoir where it can eventually seep into the soil below or be redirected to a nearby storm pipe through an underdrain thereby increasing the amount of water that can be stored locally temporarily during an intense rain event without having to install a large storm pipe. In this particular area, we are limited because there's so many different underground utilities. Uh, and so that's where the option came in, where we can actually increase the storage capacity as opposed to putting an underground storage pipe uh, you know, a couple blocks away. The benefit of features like porous pavers or trees, which of course provide shade, was highlighted in a climate resilience study done prior to construction. That found that thanks to a warming atmosphere, the likelihood of extreme rain and heat events is on the rise. But Marta Loop is an existing area, so um, they may not have uh, modeled that uh, adequately at the time. So that's what you see here, an effort to build in a way that's adaptive to changing weather scenarios. The novel system will be studied to see how it performs year-round, including during the winter months when the need for plowing and sanding becomes a reality.